awesome. I've actually seen a Mississippi kite <laughs> go after an anole in my yard once. And I was shocked, like floored when I saw it. I was like, is that a thing? <laughs> um, but yeah, insects. Wow. Are in, and they'll catch them in air and eat them in the air. Like, okay. That is it started literally just as a group meet and um people would just add their friends who were in stem and black and it just grew into like kind of like a group of everybody um and we would just talk about whatever it was like a safe space we had a lot of fun um and then the christian cooper situation happened and of course it was just a topic of discussion at the time um, but someone, Anna, to be specific, uh, she was like, yo, we should do, we should do like a, a day. I think it started out as a day to commemorate, like, or just showcase that Black people are outdoors and we do bird. There was a lot to say and a lot to, to do and talk about, and we couldn't fit that all into one day. So we made it a week and we really just wanted everybody to know what, what Black birders or you know other naturalists in in the field face just trying to be outside when really we're just trying to either do work or just enjoy the outdoors like everybody has a right to. I honestly was just so pleasantly surprised of just how many other fellow Black biologists and and birders and, and nature enthusiasts there were out there. I absolutely loved it. Jumping into plan this year again was a no-brainer. Like last year, it meant so much to a lot of people, including myself. And um, we saw the the reach that it had and how much people um, loved participating. Black people loved participating or seeing people like themselves. So we wanted to bring that to everybody again. This year, we wanted to shift the the focus. Um, more towards black joy um, in nature and we really focused on um, the people that were doing the work the people that were on the ground we had a lot of fish and wildlife services um, personnel like Dr. Mamie Parker these are people that have been in it forever um, and we really want to show that there have been people doing this before us like we're not the only ones and we're not the first ones Man, the um, the Falconer movie, Falconer film, was so good. Oh my gosh, we were watching it, and I'm pretty sure I said verbatim, like this is one of the best movies that I've seen in a while. And that speaks to the actual directors and the you know the, the behind the scenes team, but also you know Rodney Scott's story um, was just very moving and really related with it. So um, that was my favorite. I want to say there's a few, but the one that stood out to me was the safety and nature, just like having actual, you know, people, Black people, specifically Black women studying the subject and giving time and space to that conversation. That's, I mean, I feel like we, we talk about it a lot, but like actually seeing the research, the numbers, the dialogue, the shared experiences, um, really put it in perspective of um, how much of an issue it still is um, and to be able to like really hone in on it from a black perspective was refreshing. I think on their wings maybe um, I just liked hearing from people who have been a naturalist or been a birder for um, a really long time how they got into it why they got into it Mm, I definitely like the Birds on My Vlog event because I finally got the chance to like blab all the nerdy bird app knowledge that I have and I've been meaning to like share with folks. So that was really cool. I think I would definitely want to do that again. I really liked uh, Breeze, Brianna Mingles. She did how to make, how to bring birds to your backyard and gave some tips on like your setup and having water features and all that native species. So hers is really good too. Just, everybody really just showed out, okay? <laughs> it was great. There's all of these groups, which is great. Um, they're still very much predominantly white, but at the same time, 
knowing that you can connect with somebody in your neighborhood and on your block and say, hey, let's go for a bird hike or come together to put like an event or a cookout or something to where it's just like, okay, these are my people. <laughs> and it doesn't feel like this, you know, you're hiding a part of yourself to actually enjoy those things. So I definitely want to see more of that. But yeah, like I think a, a conference would be super cool because we started a movement in a pandemic. So <laughs> it was all on social media and uh, um, a lot of the organizers ourselves, like we've never like met in person, a lot of us. Um, I would also love for us to like be able to use that leverage and use that um, opportunity to I guess, share and distribute resources to people all over the place, um, especially in the form of uh, making outdoor activities more accessible to, um, to, to Black people, basically. Reaching out to younger um, birders and naturalists and encouraging them to, to join in and be a part of, of this field, because um, we, are, we are doing this for the future generation as well. Um, raising these issues so that they don't have to face any of them. I feel like I really would just love to see anyone who is interested in nature at all or science at all be able to find this network and um, being involved in in any capacity like if you want to uh, attend events or just simply take some pictures and post on social media and be like yeah look me I'm I'm just enjoying my black self in nature, you know? This one is still trying. It's still trying to get on those two feeders. And those two feeders are actually too small for it usually to get on to, like I mentioned earlier. So if you're trying to keep doves away, two feeders. As I say that. That's look, really I, good to know, right? 